this is the culture and waste today we are doing basic body block please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you can be not notified as soon as you upload new video help us to share it, the video so that you can get to the people that need it enjoy as you watch the first one is that from my shoulder area let's say this is the shoulder this is the starting point the highest point of the body from here to my nipple area is 10 and a half there is breast points then the my half length or shape is 16 inches the hip area is 25 inches now from here i will measure 3 inches because i want to get my neck area this 3 inches for the neck then my shoulder is 14 inches i will divide the 14 inches by 2 we have 7 inches But instead of 7 inches, I will have half inch swing allowance. I have 7 and a half inches. Then from here, from where we have 7 and a half inches, I will come down by 1 inches. Then from this 1 inches, I will draw a straight line from these first 3 inches for neck, which I measure this way. This is the soda line. You know the soda is only a little bit sloppy. That's what we are trying to achieve here. And this is the neck area. Now, it depends on how you want, how deep you want the neck to be. But mine, I can, I'm thinking, let me take four inches. The neck, you can make it wider than this, depending on the type of neck you are looking for. And the wideness of the person's neck. Now this, Four inches the depth. Then from here, either I use my hand. Okay, let me use this okay, because of the people that don't have instruments. I will draw straight line like this. Then I intercept it this way. Then from the mid point here to mid point here, because I'm trying to use. Or if you have French cough, you, it's better you use it. You can see it gives me almost the same thing. Meanwhile, I'm not using, I use free hand. This is for the neck area. And this is for the shoulder. Then now the next thing I'm going to look for now is my arm move. Now, from here to get my arm move, I will divide my boss by 6, they had 1.5 inch. Now if I, my boss is 36, if I divide it by 6, I have 6 inches, plus 1.5, that is 7.5. Then from here, I will measure 7.5 down, which is somewhere here. Then from this 7 inches line, I'm drawing straight line. To that 7.5. Then let me extend the line also backward. Then I will look for the main point of this 7.5, which is about three and the quarter this is an inch here for three quarter let me make use of three quarter then I can use my French curve let me fold draw straight line to here then you can see what I have now Then now, I will transfer my bus measurement to here. My bus is 40 inches. This is 40 inches. I will add one inch this allowance, which is here. 
my shape is 30 inches. 30 inches divided by 4 also. I have 7.5. Then I will have 1 inches for the dart. That is 8.5. Then I'm adding the 1 inches this allowance. For the hip, my hip is 40. 40 divided by 4. That is 10 inches plus this is 10 inches plus 1 inch is allowance. Then I will connect this spot, these points together. If you take me, I'm not using my boss line, I'm using the this armpit hole that is the upper boss line. Now the next thing for me to do now is to look for my dart area. My dart, I will create that around the, bre uh, the breast pan. Our breast pan is three, that is seven inches plus half inch sewing allowance, that is eight inches. I will measure the half of the eight inches, which is four inches at the shape area. This is four inches here. I can let me just extend the line. Then on the shape area, I will go in by half inch to this side, half inch to this side. This I'm trying to bring out my that then this is my boss point i will come down by one inches then from my hip area i will go up by two inches now i'm joining these points together These are for my dart. That is the center dart. Now, I want to create a dart from here so that it will help the boss to form. You can push that from the armpit or from the side. But now I want to use the armpit dart. This is the main point. Now, from this main point, now I'm looking for this. I want to connect to this breast point also. But let me come in by one inches also then on this I will draw a straight line I will target the boss point then from here now I'm going either side by half inches This up also half inches. Which from here I'm connecting this way. There is some if I'm using the MP that, but if I decide to use the uh, size that. Beside that also, if I'm to use this, you can use this and this, or this and this. If I'm to use this, I will look for the main point between my waistline and my upper bust. This is 7.5. This is about eight, uh, 4 inches. That is 3 and 3 quarter. Then from this now, from this my bust point, I'm go let me draw straight now, but I'm going here by one inches also. But I will target the boss point. 
this our one inches then for the both side i'm taking half half inch you can see Then yes, if I'm using the side that, if I'm using the ampli that this is what I'm using. But remember, if I'm using the ampli that if I remove this one inches, it will reduce the what I have here. That means I will need to extend here a little. But if I'm using the side that, that means if I take this out, this space will jump up. That means I will add the one inches to this side. The one inches will be for the that. Then I will connect it to this. Now this is what I will ship out. This is for our neck. Then this is for our armpit move and the reason why we have to come inside here is that so that there won't be puff at the armpit in the armpit area we are taking it out by shaping it this way but when we are cutting the back we don't need to come this way but we are using this to cut the back And this is what we have for the front. On directly on another fabric or pattern or draft or whatever you are using. Now I leave two inches here for the zipper allowance. You can make it one, one and a half or two inches. Let's use one and a half inch for the zipper allowance from up to down then this your line is better you extend them out because we will still make use of them For the back, we not have this that. Therefore, there's no need for this extra one inches we have here. That's why I stop it here. And this is the center line. This is the shipper allowance that we make use of. Then this point also is very important because these two points are joining together. Then let me use but and now you remember we came in by half inches when we are cutting this front and pit move. Now for the back, we maintain our straight line this way. That means if we are cutting now, we just shape like this. If you are shaping for the back, we just shape this way. Something like this. But we need this center that you mark the zip, then you mark for the center that. Because we are still using the center that. Now let me connect the line back. This is for the shape. This is for the bust. The same way we created that, we we'll still do the same thing. We we'll go in by half inches to the other, to the both side. We we'll come up here by two inches. You can decide to make the back that longer. 
Let's just leave it to the boss point. This for the back that now the neck some it depends on how depth you want the back to be but you can just decide to come down by only two inches or thereabout but if you want a very deep back you come on but the place that is important is that this point must join with the front panel joint it must be the same thing because this is the one you are attaching together but this the depth doesn't matter Now give it make it now. And this, this one I mark as here is for the zipper allowance. You can make it one and a half inch, you can make it two inch. Another thing that if you don't want it to pop at the back, you can actually take this half inches out from here. That means on the Half length, you go in by half inch. This way, then you connect it to here. Okay, you open it out back. But you can decide to leave it like this. But this is just to remove the little puff at the zip area. That means. But you can decide to leave it like this, and this is the, our. If this video is helpful to you, please we would like you to like and subscribe to our channel just to encourage us and to let other people see the video and watch it. Thank you.